Hello there, this is Eli G. Brown slash Sonic Jr. and Sarah here with a review on Inferno XL. This time, I'm showing a revamp on him. I've already done the review on the official version of this character. Now I am doing a review on a revamp that I've done on him. Now, what you may notice on this character, as opposed to the official one, is that there is not a lot of silver now. I just didn't think that the silver was all that necessary. In fact, I don't think silver is necessary on any of the characters. So, what I did was just put, uh, put some of the red onto him to make him look more uh, efficient. Make him look more like what he should have looked like. And, uh, let me, uh, go over some things that make this, makes this character different from all, well, from the official version of the character. First of all, the important thing to me was, was the chest armor. Uh, as you may remember, like with all of the Brain Attack heroes, there a silver or gunmetal gray chest armor was used. Uh, well, Ferno and Breeze have silver, Bulk and Raka have uh, gunmetal gray. The other heroes, well, we'll find out in Wave 2. I mean, the CGI animation doesn't exactly tell us because in the CGI animation they look the same. So, what I did was just replace Ferno's uh, Brain Attack uh, chest armor piece with uh, the one from the Breakout series, the last series that we had, and uh, and of course the the claw things that cover up the Hero Core, which supposedly are supposed to protect the Hero Core, but it makes no sense to me. I mean. Why do they need to protect their hero cores? I mean, they didn't need to before. Basically, I think that the real hero core is actually in, more inside the body. And what we see is just the outer part. So, that was one thing that I did. Secondly, with the uh, legs, uh, I replaced the... Uh, the feet, the hero feet, that were silver with red Rakshi feet from Bionicle. Now, why? Well... <coughs> no, for some reason, I'm getting deja vu. But anyway, I kind of felt for one reason, the feet being in silver was not all that good looking. That's just my thought. And secondly, having the, uh, the standard hero feet be used for the XL, I kind of think that would make him weak because, well, having such a large character have small feet would make him look a little weak, like he could easily, uh, fall over, you know, like, tip backwards like this. Yeah, that, that would sound... That would look kind of weak, so I just got them bigger feet. Second, well, thirdly, I replaced the silver armor pieces on the lower legs with gunmetal gray ones. Because I really did not think silver was a necessary color to use. So I just used gunmetal gray ones instead. I was originally planning on getting translucent orange ones, but... I decided to go with the gunmetal gray instead. And lastly, for the head, uh, you know, originally the the visor that Ferno had was translucent with a bit of black printing on it. I mean, it did look okay, but I wanted to make this character look more like the original Inferno. So I just used the uh, orange one from Bulk. 
did actually originally was planning on having no visor, but I thought that if I uh, posted this video without no visor, some people would say, Hey, why is there no visor? That the mask looks so ugly. You should have put a visor on. Well, I put the visor on, so that will cover comments like those. And, um, yep, that is my revamp version. Well, my first one, I may plan to do another revamp later based upon the combination model between him and Pyrox. But for now, this is what I have. And I hope you enjoyed that review and look for more videos to come. Talk to you again later.